he's basically simulated the entire tax code in this sheet. It's tax time! You know it, my favorite time of the year, January, February, March, April, as we get into tax season. And here's the thing. A couple years ago, I was really pissed off with TurboTax, which is one of the software companies I was using to file my taxes. And I had a little bit of complicated stuff that year. I had rented out a part of my house, just at one bedroom, only for part of the year. So you ha I had to take the percentage of my house that was rented times the percentage of the year that was rented to report some of the deductions I could take against my rental income. And TurboTax could not do it. I was like fighting with the software to figure out, I knew what the actual tax form had to look like, but I couldn't get TurboTax to do it. So that caused me to do some searching. And I found there's this guy that makes the entire tax return and all attachments basically in Microsoft Excel. So it's on this really funny old fashioned looking website, just Google Excel 1040. And the first one, he has it on like a Google hosting thing. And trust me, it looks really shady, but I've used it for the past four years. This website looks like it's straight out of the 1900s. He's been doing it since 1996. So I'm gonna open the 2019 1040 form. I'm gonna open it. He's basically simulated the entire tax code in this sheet. And you see down at the bottom, there's all the forms you might need. So I'm gonna first click on the 1040. This is the main tax return form. And he's actually has it formatted. It looks like literally a 1040. And he claims that he's printed this spreadsheet from Excel and mailed it in as his tax return because he's gotten it so perfect, like such a perfect copy of the actual tax return. Take for example, let's say you have a W-2 from a, a job you hold that you're an employee at. He has it designed so that basically these sheets down here are like your input forms. These are the forms that you might get from your employer. So he's got, you know, employer one, this is where you would put all your info from a W-2. So let's say you made $50,000 from an employer and maybe they withheld uh, $2,000. These are the box numbers. So you would look at your W-2, enter the value from box one, the box two, box three, box four, fill out your, basically your W-2 information. And if you have multiple jobs, you can fill it out here. If you have a spouse, you fill it out here. And what you'll see is back on the 1040, it's already starting to calculate the taxes. So line one here has your wages. It's pulling the $50,000 from the W-2 you entered. As you scroll down here, it's like federal income tax withheld from the form W-2, $2,000. And behind the scenes, he has all these like if then statements that double check everything for you and tell you what forms you have to fill out. So let's find an example here. Right now you can see on line nine where you would normally put your standard deduction or your itemized deduction, it currently says zero. And you can see like anything over on the side is like what's happening behind the scenes. So right now it doesn't know my filing status. So once I click a filing status, let's click put an X in the single bucket. Now you can see all this fills out. So it's saying the deduction in line nine was used the standard deduction. So it's putting in the standard deduction of $12,200. What you'll find is this is actually a fantastic way to learn how taxes are done. Because now you can see, you can actually follow the math what's going on here. So we've got adjusted gross income of 50,000, standard deduction of 12,200, and it does this math for you. So your taxable income, which is where you take your gross income minus your standard deduction, is only 37,000. Then it calculates the tax you owe for you, 4,345. And if you follow that down, you know here's your total tax again, 4,345. The amount we withheld that we entered on our W-2, just as an example, was $2,000. And so you can see we owe $4,300. We only withheld $2,000. So it automatically calculates the difference. The amount you owe is $2,345. And so this gives you an incredible flexibility to play with things. Let's see how differences would impact things. We go back to our W-2. Let's just imagine, for example, we actually withheld, our employer actually withheld $5,000 over the course of the year. Now you can see we made 5,000 in payments, but we only owed 4,345. So now if line 19 is more than line 16, this is the amount you overpaid, $655. The amount of line 20 that you want it refunded to you. So here we can see now this time we're actually getting a refund because we had too much taxes withheld. 
you can get so much more detailed. You know, if you have rental income, you have self-employment income, you know, a schedule one is here, additional income and adjustments to income. So if you have business income, attach schedule C and you don't actually put it here. Like if I try to type a number, it tells me it's protected. That's because I don't directly enter it. That might give me something wrong. Instead, I have to scroll over here and actually fill out a schedule C. So almost like, all the forms for 99% of people are literally all built in here and you can do your taxes. It's like doing your taxes entirely by hand, but having Excel do all the calculations and he has the logic that does all the math and puts it on the right sheets. I've literally used this to file my complicated taxes. I'm married, I've got rental income, I've got self-employment income. All of it can be taken into account here. So I go through and I do all my taxes in Excel 1040. There's two things you could do after you do that. Like the most straightforward would be to download the actual tax forms from the IRS websites and manually write in all the numbers from, from this form. You know, you use this form to calculate it, write the numbers on the paper and mail it in. I use the IRS free fillable forms. So if you Google that, the IRS has a partnership which allows you to make those entries into electronic versions of the forms. You still have to manually type them. Um, but that lets you file electronically. So you're not relying on any third party tax software that's gonna charge you any money. You can do taxes as complicated as you want, all thanks to this guy. There's gotta be, like, I can only imagine what type of personality it takes for someone to like do this and have built this over the years. And like every year adjusting the forms for all the changes, but it's pretty impressive and I'm super thankful for it. So hopefully you find this helpful. I'm probably over the next month or two actually gonna record a video of me stepping through this line by line and doing my taxes. I'll have to figure out how to blur out like my sensitive information and my exact numbers and everything. Um, but if you're interested in watching me literally go line by line, I'm thinking about doing that. But even if you're not interested in that, feel free to use this tool. Thanks to this guy, his name is Glenn something. Um, it's free, I'm probably gonna donate to him. I donated to him once before, but it's just been so helpful for to me and it saves me a lot of money from TurboTax or anybody else. So that's it, that's Excel 1040, XLSX.